Hey y'all, welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. And uh, if y'all will remember, a few weeks ago we had a terrible tragedy up in the Great Smokies. A um, couple of young men were found responsible for starting a fire up around Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. And um, you know, we we have we have three businesses up there. And uh, so uh, we've definitely got a piece of our heart up there in Tennessee. And everybody knows that Dolly Parton is from Sevierville. She was born and raised. And um, she has Dollywood, which is located right over a, a mountain from the island at Pigeon Forge. And so Dolly held a telethon to help these people because a lot of people lost their homes. We were so fortunate the fire got put under control before it got down to the main street on Gatlinburg. I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how the main, the, the main strip is right there on the highway. So thank goodness it got put under control before it reached all the businesses, but I got a call wanting to know if I was um, willing to come help with the telethon along with my sons, Jamie and Bobby. So we said we would just adore to come up. So we came up and we answered phones and uh, we had a good time, didn't we, Bobby? It was, I mean, yes, it was a great time. It's sad that, you know, it that, was, it, that it happened but... and a lot of people were uh affected by the fires and people lost their lives and it's really incredible that something like because you know we were we were I know. Uh, we were just in um Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge a couple of days before the fire started Absolutely. and everything was normal and you just you never know from one day to the next how that's right things can happen so um Dolly Parton being a a, a you know obviously a huge well-known member of that community mm -hmm. when she put out the call for people to come help it really was uh, an incredible outpouring of right. support from just every right. uh, artist and public person that you can imagine in Nashville got together and we were, um, I felt pretty honored to be invited to go up and help and we did and we went to uh, Dolly's little, um, not little, it was a, it was a, a, tell the, a, pr a production uh -huh. studio there um, and we pulled into the place and it was just Unbelievable, all these tour buses uh -huh. and just a anybody that you can think of from Nashville, uh, everybody who's anybody just walking around inside this studio and doing everything that they could to help. And we were sitting, mm -hmm. you know, shoulder to shoulder at the at the telephone bank there answering um, I phone calls with, you know, me and, and Lee I Greenwood. See. We're uh -huh. sitting side by side, a bunch of the Tennessee Titans. My brother Jamie was there. One of the guys, Larry Gatlin, I think, I was, was sitting there next to Larry Gatlin. He was on one side of me. And then over here was um, Todd. Slower. Todd. <laughs> Chrisley. Chrisley. Mm -hmm. I could I was wanting to say Presley, but it's not. So sitting on this side of me was Todd and Julie Cressley. Mm -hmm. And they are so funny. And so we had a good time just fraternizing with each other and talking in between phone calls. But once the phone between started phone ringing. Calls, there was no between phone calls. They constantly well, it, rang. It, it, it was took, hard work. It took hours, a minute. To, uh, but my very first call, y'all, I got from a man that owns Sashonis in Knoxville, which is just down the road, and he uh, he donated twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. I think so. That was that was thrilling. It, but a lot, probably most of them were twenty five dollar, yeah. fifty dollar. But uh, Dolly has um, got such a wonderful heart. She's such a good person, and she is ever so faithful to her roots. And um, so everybody was just thrilled to come help her. It was very touching to answer it, the phones. I had it was. more than a few people that were, um, that were um, sad and would apologize that they couldn't give more. You know, I can only give $5, yeah. I can only give $10. I'm sorry I can't give more. I mean, that really will tug at your heart. I know, and that, that was as important 
that was as important as that $20,000 contribution I got because the, those those people, I mean, they were giving it from their heart, mm. from their heart. Mm. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you. And they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. Did you, did you uh, ever hear what the final number was, Bobby? I, I think that people are still given. You know, we're a few weeks out. Uh -huh. that it wasn't just a one-night event. I think that you could probably call and still donate because yeah. there were a lot of families affected. A lot of people yeah. lost their homes and all their oh, possessions. Oh, a lot of homes lost. But it was and like, pretty quickly, like a day after the telephone, I heard had heard nine or ten million dollars had been raised. See, that's great. Yeah. And those people up there, they love Dolly Parton so much. And uh, when she calls, they they answer. Yep. It, it was just a, it was a terrible combination of things. The t Tennessee Valley and uh, Georgia and Alabama, the whole Southeast has been in a tremendous drought for not just this year, but yes. the last couple of years. Yes. Everything's so really dry. And, you know, it could just be a couple of kids out there playing, and and yes. and it got out of hand, and it just turned into something horrible. But how fortunate we are to to have been able to uh, be a part of the recovery process and for Dolly to be able to, to put that together. But um, well, we, you know, we, we were up there like November the 27th and 28th uh, to turn on the Christmas tree lights. Mm -hmm. And you and I came home early Sunday morning. And Saturday night I was in the car with uh, Gosh, I think it was Tim and Eddie. Ed, Tim was driving us around, and I said, I looked, I glanced up at the top of the mountain. I said, y'all, there's, there, it looks like a fire up there. Mm. And I said, it looks like a two-story house is on fire because you could see the fire on the ground level, and then there was a spot where there was no fire, and then there was fire up higher. Mm. So it was like... Uh, it looked like it was a house. Now, this was Saturday night. Uh, Sunday morning, we left. Everything was fine. By the time I got home and cut on the news, they were ablaze. Well, it was, uh, you know, they had 80 mile an hour winds coming through there too yes. the day the fires got lit. So it was just, it was a perfect combination yes. of a drought a and the wrong weather came through. But it was a perfect storm. You know, and then fortunately some rain came in and, and helped yes. out the firefighters. But it's just a, it's a terrible, sad situation. But we were able to be a part of uh, something positive from it. Yes. And, and hopefully, um, you know, we did a lot of good. I think the main message that Dolly wanted to get out to all the people was for those of us out there that wanted to do something to help, the main thing we could do is go visit the area to help the merchants get back on their feet after almost a week of being down and out of business. Mm -hmm. So y'all, please put Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg on your calendar to go visit. Uh, I promise you won't be disappointed and it'll really be doing something good for that area. Thanks for joining us today. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you. And they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. 
For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. 